I thought, I foolishly thought, a show called Love and Hip Hop, I thought it was really going to uh, uh, get my music career popping. I really thought they were going to promote my music. I really thought that it was going to follow my life, my friends. I'm honestly glad that it didn't, now that I know what I know. But I didn't realize that everything was going to be produced, controlled, contrived. Like, I didn't know. Like, I thought that I was going to get a camera crew and they was going to follow me around. And, like, you know, that's that's what I foolishly thought. Mm. I didn't realize I was going to get a call time and a general idea of how to dress for what I might be doing. And then when I get there, they pick me up and take me so I can't leave on my own recognizance. And then they take my phone from me so that once they tell me what I'm doing, I can't text nobody and say, girl, we got to talk about this. You know what I'm saying? So people always ask, like, is it real? Is it real? Like, it's like, you know, when you're in school, and you had to write a paper. And before the paper, you wrote an outline. Mm. And then you write a paper from that outline. They write the outline. And you write the paper. So it's like, technically, like, I'm saying, I'm choosing what I want to say based off what they, they're forcing they me to talk like about. They feel like you should be doing yeah, they tell me the topics. Yeah. Okay, today you're gonna talk. You're gonna meet you with this put person. Some type of action to that. So that you feel like. So they fits give the you what you have to do, and then you choose how you have to do it. But it's like at the drop of a dime. Like literally, I pull up. They tell you that you go in, bam, and it's like you got to focus. on, Okay, he's my, here's my. I gotta hit these five beats with this perfect strange. I don't fucking know. And then let's say. Me and you are filming together for the first time. And you don't know shit about me. I don't know shit about you. We yeah. didn't even know that we were filming together to have ter- a chance to even Google each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they tell me, Masika, ask Sharp about, tell Sharp you ran to Melissa and she's so sweet. Now, I have no idea that Melissa's your wife that you're going through a divorce with and she fucked your brother or some shit. So I'm like, oh my God, I just was with Melissa and her boyfriend. Not knowing that, you know, you got, that, like, you know what I'm saying? So now you're like, this bitch talking about my ex-wife with another nigga? But I don't know. I don't fucking know that, you know what I'm saying? So now you got a split-second decision to try to figure out how to react. Like, and, and, and it's so fast that you can't figure out, did they tell her to say this? Or now you're just mad. So we get, we get through the whole scene, whatever, whatever the case may be. We don't know each other. We don't have phone numbers. Now they have you go film with two bitches that hate me. And then they're like, oh, that mystique. And you're like, yeah, she was messy. She did say this. She did say that. So then three weeks go by, we ain't film with each other, but they had me film with your enemies, they had you film with my enemies. Now we come back together. I don't know you know me, but now we hate each other. Because now we had five scenes with people that talking all types of shit. So now you think I really meant it. I don't even, I still don't even know who you feel like. Do you feel like that's what you and Johnny Blaze low-key went through? Oh, no, that was different. I'm just saying, like, it's the way you kind of explain <laughs> nah, that was completely that different. So that, so that, like, that was a different show. Like, that was, was a different like, show. Granted, but I'm just saying it still has the same type of completely different. base. It was completely different. Uh, now, mean, I'm going to tell you why it's completely different. Oh, okay. And I'm, right. I can say this because I don't, see I don't have an NDA with different. growing up hip-hop. I'm about to tell you. But it didn't I'm matter. It was still painting it the same looked the narrative. Same. It looked the same. It's still painting the same narrative. Right. So with, with love and hip-hop, you didn't know what you were getting yourself into. With growing up hip-hop, you knew what you were getting yourself into. They still find ways and edits to manipulate the shit. But like... Me and Johnny did that together, and we were in cahoots. Like, we, we were actually laughing so hard in that fucking scene where we were pretending to fight. They had to keep making takes. Like, they asked us to do it. Like, we was, like, we was, like, it probably took an hour to get through that little argument just because we was, we, we kept laughing. And, like, I mean, fake fighting It was that, shit. so that was completely different. Love and hip-hop, that never happened. Like, love and hip-hop, it was all, like, just shit that, so growing up hip-hop, like, when they cast me for that, I lived in L.A., they, they had me come out to Atlanta to do that. So, like, basically, every scene I shot, like, it had to be, like, planned and put together. Like, they had to ask us if we would do it. We, we spoke on the phone to each other. We went to eat afterwards. Like, so that's a completely different... Like, we was just we, we was just doing what we had to do. That was some funny shit, honestly. We had fun that day. And Johnny's my girl. I fuck with Johnny. Like, I... Like, you and Johnny seem Me and Johnny like never had any beef. Y'all like, really had a... That's because I mean, we're good actors! Well, I mean, but doesn't that take away from... Like, I mean, because everybody knows, like, reality TV has some type of false narrative somewhere throughout the mixture because it's still going to make this a sweet mix, you know? But to find out, like, that it's just all bullshit and just all drag, like, I mean, we're, we're I, all I, would say, I would say who would want to watch that, but everybody, I, everybody's gonna want to watch. We're all that. actors. The Knowing beauty of it is fake. that they don't they don't think it's acting. But I love to hear some. I love to bring somebody here that can like pour that out on Matter the fact, table. Shout out to fucking quick. Johnny Blaze. Yo, we had fun that day. We really did. She's a talented, dope ass singer, dope ass artist. She's a dope ass. I mean, you were telling her like you gonna buy her. She had a fake bag. You was 
He was really on her. Y'all was really talking. We like, did it. And, it, and honestly, like, she like, was talking about. And I think the narrative, if I if I quote, like, I think it was something along the lines of her fucking with your baby daddy. That's what they tried and to make you it. You tried to come talk to her about that, like, and confront her because I was like this when I wanted to talk to you about. I'm like, man, that shit look weird. And I was like, if that is the motherfucking case, I'm like, ain't you supposed to be the queen bee? You never sit there and go bow down and go lower to go talk to anybody nah. about that. If anything, you should be talking to your man. But but, now but here's the craziest part fantasy. about that. Here's the craziest part about that. I wouldn't know, I wouldn't agree to that narrative, right? I'm mad at you. Here's the, th- here's the crazy part. This shit blew Imagine. my fucking mind. <laughs> this shit blew my fucking mind, okay? Now, you know because you're in production. So you know what room tone is, right? Mm-hmm. So for those of you that don't know, whenever you're filming any TV show, reality show, whatever the case may be, there's something called room tone. At the end of whatever the film day is, they call room tone. Everybody has to shut the fuck up, and they just record the background sound from the room, okay? They record the background sound with everything that's in the room. Now, I didn't know this until when I was growing up hip-hop. These motherfuckers will put a sentence in your mouth that you never said by using fucking room tone. They will take one word you said on 15 different days and piece it together as a sentence and throw the room tone behind it so it kind of blends out. And they'll show me talking to you. They'll show my POV. Then they'll turn it to your POV and they'll put a sentence out of my mouth that I never said on your POV. Now, it might be, like I said, 10 different days where it'd be like, I went to this, this, blah, 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 because it's not the same voice. But that room tone makes it all sound cohesive. Right. So they had me saying shit out my mouth that I never said. Like, they kept, I, I've never called my child's father by his by his rap name. Uh, unless, like, it's just some, talking to somebody, whatever. But I, per, I call him by his first name. So they kept, like, they were asking, like, about, like, what was the problem with him working with, with Johnny? And they just couldn't get, they couldn't get, I'm like, I'm not about to, I'm not about to do this dumbass shit. Like, I don't give a fuck that he did a song with, with her. So they would say something and I would call him Willie. They'd be like, say Fetty Wap. I'm like, I'm, I don't call this nigga Fetty Wap. They would take that sound bite of me saying Fetty Wap and, like, put that in a sentence. Fetty Wap did a song with Johnny and it would be like 10 days, 10 different fucking days and throw that fucking room tone behind it. So you really think, and I've never seen anything like that. And the and, and Laura Govon warned me about that shit, but I didn't understand what she meant. Are you a robot? Apparently I was. Are you wearing a mask here today? Like, are you like... I was on that show, apparently. Are you really the real Masika? Like, do we yeah, have... I'm the only food? one, baby. <laughs> Laura Govon warned me about that one day. She was like, Masika, don't ever take a breath when you speak a sentence. And I was like, huh? But like, she couldn't really elaborate. We were at a club, it was super loud. She couldn't really elaborate on what she meant. And then when I went on that show, I was like, that's what the fuck she meant. If you if you take a breath enough to where they can pull a word out, they will make you say some shit you would never say. And I've never seen that before. That was a different type of wicked. Love and hip hop didn't even do that shit. So growing up hip hop, y'all are some motherfuckers for that. Yeah, no, it's, Some probably, it's probably gonna get worse with the AI shit now. Oh, it's, it's terrifying. Get, yeah, now it's, it's on a whole nother terrifying. level. Terrifying. Yeah, it's on a whole nother level. Speaking of AI. They only just say shit, but they just need your voice. Speaking of AI, AI is, 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 is threatening so many jobs, which is why we have the actor strike and the writer strike right now, one of the main reasons. But, you know, me as a stock market guru, you know, oh, I picked okay. some some stocks um, on my give us, list. Give us a tip. Okay, so I, I picked um, NVIDIA. Which, which two years ago, and I picked it because of the global chip shortage that was going on with all these cars and things like that because of COVID, uh, there was a global chip shortage. I didn't know anything about AI, but it just so happens that, you know, I put in my stock club, stock market tip from badbitch.com, that, you know, invested in NVIDIA. So I put about 10 grand in NVIDIA. the chips that go into the cars. Not just cars, but like Because like, they had them chips everything. and they had a shortage on chips for the cars. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. So it was hard to sell a car because yes. they needed some type yes. of chip form. I, I bought a 2021 S580 in 2021. Most beautiful piece of shit I've ever purchased because... It's it misses it's missing everything. They put it yeah, out in a rush because of COVID, yeah, and there's everything. a malfunction that pops That's up every guy. It's a hundred fifty thousand dollar piece of shit. That's just crazy. It's a piece of shit, and it I just want to crash it off a bridge. There's a malfunction every goddamn day on this freaking car. But regardless, because of AI now, Nvidia is one of the 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 leaders in AI. My ten thousand dollars worth of shares is now fifty thousand dollars because. Mm-hmm because of that. So AI is, is on some bullshit. And, and like you said, they're probably going to be manipulating so many different things now to where like they can make you say and do anything. We're getting, we're getting money in it. 
the secret, right? Like we would be getting money and all this, like the AI shit, but like where is this really gonna lead us? Distraction. Like what what rabbit hole like or what what path are we going down? It's unnatural. This? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, people like the money from it now because yeah, it's easy to make money now from the click of a button. But what's this really doing? Like, where is this sending us? I mean, when you think about it, all this virtual reality stuff. It all has a purpose. None of it's done accidentally like if, or if you, eureka. If you think about the, the the reality, the, the world we live in, it's almost like we're masochistic. It's like people are like you're trying to fucking mm. kill yourself mm. out. Like like the, all these agendas and you know like it's 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 crazy. It's like we we are creating a universe that we literally can't procreate or produce in. 